Okay, uh, hello, my name is Randall Chongson. I'm going to uh, present another video. This time, I'm, uh, it's, it's a very intimate video because our guest has been a friend of mine, me and my wife, for wow. More than a decade. <laughs> More, I think we're now growing something like 13 years, no? Yes. Oh, yes. 13 years. And this is my, my friend is Novi Tan. She's an advocate of homeschooling and parenting. And she is the, okay, magugulat, she's the beautiful wife of Chinky Tan. <laughs> and then, of course, everyone knows Chinky. Uh, Novi, I had a video with Chinky the other day. We did a little bit of reminiscing. Did you know that Chinky and I, this year, we've been friends for 30 years. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. 30 years. And then, uh, of course, I got uh, really more intimate, connected with him. Uh, believe it or not, it's almost 13 years ago. So, it's been, you know, it's been a, it's a, it's been a great time. I mean, of course, I you know, you go through, but it's been a wonderful. It's not even a roller coaster relationship. It's been a wonderful uh, relationship, uh, being friends with you, and all these things. Yes, you yes. And, and Likewise, para, me and Chinky. Yeah, and para so blessed to have you, Nia. Ma, ano, may mga kaibigan din namin. See, si my wife and Novi are have been friends for I don't know for so long. Uh, Look forward niya kami do sa state mo diyan. Oo nga, oo nga, hindi na tayo natutuloy. Oo oh, nga, oo nga. Bali, yan ang una-una nating gagawin. <laughs> Very important na uh, kami we invite we invite the the importance and the value and even the benefits of being part of a community, our kids, yes. our friends yes. and so forth and so things. And a little bit of trivia, um Novi and my wife Mia, syempre, kasama kami ni Chinky. Uh, we we started homeschool at the same time. Lakasan ng loob, if I remember. Yes, yes. Well, can you do <laughs> They're all, and these kids that we homeschooled are now, you know, no. I entry college already. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ayan na sila. So, it was, time is very fast, no? So, again, very important. We started homeschool. And I wanted to talk to you about, I mean, of course, I um, wanted to see what you guys are doing. And let's talk about homeschool because homeschool for, you know, for many, many years, di ba? I mean, people will always ask, ay, ayoko yung homeschool na yan kasi, you know, paano yung social skills? You know, we go through all of these things. Pero, in the last, and thanks to efforts that you guys have been doing and really, uh, hats off to you guys. Um, of course, the last, maybe the last five or six years, homeschool has entered a mainstream discussion yes. right, talking about it. No? What, yes. what changed the story? I mean, from when we were starting, when we were kids, Jethro and Greeks were Actually, they were babies no? <laughs> when they were starting to, to, to today. When, oh. What changed? Well, siguro it's more of a... Uh, kasi through the years, like ako kasi ako, I, I saw some of the families mm -hmm. before me na they're doing uh, homeschooling din. Ito yung mga leaders natin sa church. Okay. And then actually, they were trying to convince me. Sabi ko, hindi, hindi ko gagawin niya. <laughs> parang ano, hindi ko kaya yun. Parang... Uh, for me, that's not my calling. Kaya nga, kaya nga ako before when we were in Valencia, kaya nga ako lumipat dito sa Valencia kasi gusto ko nilalakad lang yung eskwelahan. Mm -hmm. What changed for me is really the peak of when my only son had an encounter with a uh, special child actually in, my, in the progressive school that we enrolled him. And then actually for two years, siguro four years old siya pumunta doon, for two years, okay naman siya. Pero nung susunod na year, meron isang bata doon, kinukurot siya. Lagi siyang kinukurot na lang kinukurot. And then, for like few days, parang okay lang. And then, uh, parang napansin ko, parang ang dami ng pasa. Mm, wow, wow. Aking only boy. And then, umiiyak na siya. And he said, Mom, I do not like to go to school anymore. Can you just teach me at home? Mm -hmm. So parang ako naman, guilty-guilty. Kasi nga, niyaya na ako ng mga yung mga leaders sa church na mag-homeschool, parang hinintay ko pang mangyari yun bago, bago ako mag-change ng mind. So, that's what I did. I was able to interview a lot of a lot of families and then I do shadowing. Okay. What I mean, kasi nung hindi pa tayo quarantine, I can go to, to their homes and just check it out. How does it look like? And then I interview like 14 families. Okay. And then, mga kids, then I... Uh, interview them like their pros and cons, how do they like it, do they see it long term, etc. Et and yun na yun, nag-start na with Mia and then we talk, oh, hindi gagawin mo ba yan? Oo nga, gagawin ko na ata, Mia. And then yun na yun. 
start na kayo. Everything is history. <laughs> yeah, it, but it, it's a big change already from the time you and Mia started, no? By the way, I kind of remember mag, mag, magka-school nga pala si, si Reg, si Rilsa, saka si Jetro, even in the oh. school. Wow, I forgot about it. But you know, from well, the, because, the, yeah, the yeah. time that we're talking about it and then information, basically the only information we were able to get in homeschool are for people from church, di ba? I mean, all this information yeah. and all these things. Pero over the last three or four, and maybe in the last five years, parang there's like an uh, explosion of people, oh, homeschool, homeschool, homeschool. And you know, because nakikita nila eh, the culture is really a huge thing mm-hmm. because actually, siguro hindi naman sinasya job, but because siguro um, most of the community families, like homeschool families, were able to model it. Mm. And nakita nila yung benefits. Like for example, uh, one of the benefits is you you really get less sick. Okay. Like ako, in my experience, I'm not sure with you guys, but ako talaga bihira magkasakit ang mga anak ko. That's one factor. And number two, it's the, like on our end, you will always go back when I ask parents and they ask me, no, kaya ko ba to? Well, what is the most important thing for you? That's always my question. What do you value most? Okay. Do you think this is what your family stands for? Yeah. Kasi I believe um, not everyone is really called to homeschool, but because of the situation that we have now, I have to say this word, we are forced to do so. Yeah, yeah. Bumabalik tayo sa basic na, ano nga ba talaga importante? Kasi if I'm going back to history, Randall, no? Kasi when I research, in time of Washington, like 18th century or 17th century, talagang homeschool eh. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng institutionalized concept is because lahat ng lalaki nagpunta sa war. And then yung mga nanay na iwan, eh sino na ngayon ang magpapakain sa mga bata? Wala. So napilitan silang i-gather yung kids at magkaroon ng school. That's why nagkaroon siya ng na, na-institutionalize. Mm-hmm. Hanggang sa naging, yun na nga, para naging school na. Pero first and foremost talagang parent-led siya. Parent-led siya ever since. So yun yun. So you're, we're, the whole thing is going back. Uh, there has to be, siguro ngayon marami ng tao are you know, seriously considering. Hindi na siya... Before kasi yes. now, people are now seriously considering, uh, I think maybe social media help, you know, there's a lot of these, you know, families that are, you know, like you, you know, yes. the people see, the same see. And, and of course, siguro madami na din, they can see it, no? These kids are now, are now there, they're in the marketplace now, they're, you know, some of them are really uh, creating waves and all these things. Kasi marami naman stories sa US, pero kung konti yung stories sa Pilipinas, no? Oo oh, nga. Uh, we're seeing oh, that. Kailangan maging maingay tayo. No, maging maingay tayo sa so those things. Like now, like this Tuesday, I'm going to meet DepEd. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a uh, video chat regarding what, how did they see it, kung ito na yung mangyari. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna interview them on how to, kasi they have to see it in a long term. Kasi hindi, ang problema, ang, not problema, but the challenge is, hindi pa tayo accredited eh, sa lahat ng public. Yun pa din, yun pa din ang problem. Yun pa rin yung issue. So, now they're gearing on that level, but they're opening themselves for distance learning. So ngayon parang kinokombine nila yung homeschool and distance learning. Kasi the goal here kasi Randall, no matter what, kasi kailangan pa rin ng parent na matrain eh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, if, kung hindi ka sanay na ang anak mo na sa loob ng bahay 24 hours mm-hmm. and you you are usually, uh, you know, ikaw yung tao or yung parent na usually goes out, Siyempre, hindi mo kilala yung anak mo. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan mo i-retrain yung sarili mo na, eh, teka muna, paano nga ba ito? Mawala ka na me time. Yeah, but which, for me, it is the greatest opportunity in this time of crisis. You know what? Kasi now, you know that um, what is matters most? Kasi it's not about naman the academics. Eh. Okay, nandyan na yan. Online learning, nandyan na yan. Maybe people like me or the Mendozas can be able to do that and educate. But the thing is, you cannot tell your kids to do this and do that if you don't have a relationship with your child. Very important. That's the bottom line. Kasi kahit na ano ituro mo, kung wala kang trust factor sa, sa anak mo, it's gonna be hard. So, that's what I'm trying to gearing now, yung advocate. Yung nafa-force ka magturo, ito yung sabi ng DepEd. Pero ang tanong ko, nagtitiwala ba sa yung anak mo? Do you have a relationship? Do you study her skills? yung wants niya, yung needs niya. So just, for me, it's like, 
if you start up, play muna. Get to know your child. Study your child. Be be with him. Play out. I mean, kung may garden kayo or sa loob ng bahay, play board games, yun muna bago mo ituro sa kanya. Kasi you have to build that trust eh. Kasi no matter what, syempre di ba Randall, parent pa rin eh. Iba pa rin yung teacher, iba pa rin yung parent. Pero dahil hindi sana yung mga tao na ganun, hindi pa nila ma magkaroon ng ano eh, di ba? Yung, yung un- undivided attention. Na ito yung role ko. Paano ito, ito paano ako gagawin to bilang teacher and then mamaya nanay ako. Hindi pa nila kayang gawin yun. So, that's what I'm getting from to empower them. Mm-hmm. That as a parent, you're an agent, agent of change. Eh. That you are the best teacher for your child. No matter what, academics or not. Kung ano may tinuturo natin sa bahay, you are the best teacher for your child and God ordained you to be like that. So very, very important. So the, again, um, a lot of mommies, no, now that we're major mainstream na yan, and yeah, yeah. You know, I know there's there's always been and and private in tayo, no? It's always in the our lobby with uh, deaf ed. And, uh, yeah. they, they don't know how to uh, oh, oh. They, they couldn't understand how these things work and all these things. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You're the you you forced it. Eh? The, the situation forced this to take a look at homeschooling as a viable option. Hindi lang basta oh, I'm, pra- I'm, I'm praying nga that deaf ed could on, could also put parenting. They cannot only put ano eh, ku ituro mo to, mag distance learning ka. Mm-hmm. Pero may parenting pa rin randel eh. Okay, you know so that you are a homeschooler. Yeah. And it's not that easy for us to be able to inject. Babalik ulit tayo doon. Sa so, kaya my the thing is, you have to choose your battles. First things first then. Prioritize. Ano ba yung kailangan ko? And take it one day at the time. For the change. Yeah. Face yourself. And then you have to be honest with your kids. You know, yung parang anak, I don't know anything about it, so help me. How do I go about it? But we need to learn. Why do we need to learn? Why do we need to this, do these activities and do homeschool? Because of the situation. So, I am getting to the thought of like, collaborate with your kids. Kasi this is an opportunity. Maybe we can see it as a disaster or a crisis. But this is the greatest opportunity for you to be closer with your kids. Yes. And you can use the issue, the problem. Like, alam mo ba yung gumawa nung, I, I just researched, yung gumawa nung Wuhan.com is a student. Mm-hmm. Kasi wala siyang ginagawa. Ginawa yun. Ngayon, ang dami na nag, ano, naglalabi or going there, may also checking all the surveys, kung sino na ba yung mataas na ranking. It's a tool. Like it's the empowering of the, the parent to that child. So, madaming pwedeng gawin eh. Like, like nakakatuwa lang. Kasi I, I realized then, like, on my, some of my friends who are business people, nakita nila na, na, no nag-gear sila sa online, mas relax yung mga tao kasi mas nakakatulog. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, importante yung eight hours na tulog. Mas relax sila dahil kasama nila yung pamilya. Hindi na nila iisipin na babiyahe sila sa labas. Tapos babiyahe sila ng two hours dahil sa traffic sa EDSA. Mas nagiging productive. Kasi mas nagagawa nila ako ay nagagawa nila. So, it's also with the kids. But the thing is, because of, yan nga, syempre bata pa sila. We need to guide them in such a way na we need to let them learn with us and that we are a team. And let them know what's happening outside. Like for example, coronavirus, you can collaborate and integrate it. You can do science there. You can do social studies there. You can use that as a public speaking and explain what is coronavirus. What are the different pandemics in the history that they can learn and how they can improve. Yung ganon, madaming pwedeng gawin na maging relevant ka. Hindi naman pwede laging textbook. Textbook, alam mo yung gano'n. Kailangan matapos mo yung, yung 200 pages kasi yun ang sabi ng DepEd. For me, that's most, that is most important. And that's real education. That's why you and Chinky, I admire you guys. Because what the, your topic that you're standing for is very revel, relevant to the now. And both of you are helping people and empowering them. Because one day, and you know, you know pag alabas nila, hindi mo alam kung may trabaho sila o hindi eh. I have homeschoolers na talagang ang dami kong inquiries na wala silang trabaho, hindi nila alam paano. Paglabas nila ng ano, ng, ng, ano, ng after the quarantine. Parehong empleyado, hindi nila alam. So, gusto nila mag-homeschool, pero paano wala na silang trabaho, Randy? Paano nila gagawin yun? Viable option. So, again, 
I think a lot of as a parent, people do, do ask me and Mia, I think a lot of the parents struggle to have that perfect child and for them to be that perfect parent. And then dun sila natakot, and then homeschool exposes, no? That yes. perfect child. Kasi kasama mo doon. Oh. Eh. And then, <laughs> ikaw din, napaka inadequate mo rin pala and all these things. So, oh, oh. I think and it's okay. It's okay. It's okay na may weaknesses. I mean, that's yun naman talaga eh. That's part of, ano eh, ang, ang goal lang is how do we respond as a parent. That's why we need to learn with them. We need to do mistakes with them. We need to learn to say sorry. And both of us, the parent and the child, need to accept what's happening outside and tayong magmamodel not to be fearful of this situation, di ba? We cannot move in fear. But instead, yun nga eh, kanina nga, syempre challenge din man talaga, di ba, Randall, mga palaki ng mga teenagers. Mm-hmm. So, may mga ano rito, sa so nakikita ko yung mga, well, konti na naman mild, but what I'm trying to ask God nga a while ago, Lord, teach me how to love my kids the way you love them. Rather than, you know, yung, alam mo yun, yung mindset mo na ito yung dapat, ito yung ganun. Kasi mas magiging ikaw eh. Tayong parent magkakreate ng atmosphere eh, ng environment eh, when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. And, and siguro establish din the, the right uh, foundations, the culture. Because eventually, yeah. we will let, we will, they will transition. I mean, hindi ka naman pwedeng forever dyan, nagka-transition. I, I guess we are both experiencing yes, transition yes. and all these things. But they do eh. I think, sabi ko nga, these kids are more resilient than we give them credit for. It's true. And parents then, the homeschool parents that are more resilient sa umpisa. Of course, you know, the, the and I, I always tell this story, nung bago kami nag-homeschool, you know, I would get a call from my wife crying, no? He wants me to go home and fix the problem. Sabi ko, you know, and all these things. You know, and, and many parents would wanted to quit in the first few months, no? But, Again, everything is never an easy thing for, for people. Yeah, but can I ask you a question? Balik ta din, no? Like you as a father, how did you how did you decide to homeschool? Are you really up to it? Or parang may doubt ka rin ba when you're studying um, with me? Yeah? Well, number one, I'm a very, like your husband, and I'm a very practical person. Oh, I'm a very pragmatic person. I, it came to a point wherein I was in a transition. I left the corporate environment. I joined to be a, a freelancer and everything. Mia was doing some catering and stuff like that. But I think one, it was, and I don't want to sound preachy, pero we really felt that God asked us to do so. Parang calling din kasi yan eh, uh, for my wife to really focus on the homeschooling. Because I remember one time that she had the business, she, she do catering, and then nag-started siya ng homeschool. And then, hindi kami makapag-homeschool kasi meron kaming kailangan gawin. Sabi ko, hindi yata pwede ganyan. So, oh, you were praying and asking the Lord, what should we do? God spoke to me, God spoke to my wife, and we did it. And, and yung the, the decision was again you know as a the husband and the ano kaya ba namin to i mean i, I think kaya na sa ako pero again this is the problem is uh, with me uh, going full time that also means loss of income on our part so this is the problem but you know i'm a finance guy i do the numbers <laughs> you know this is the time and and my eldest was entering college tama ba yon yeah yeah i like, remember that too my youngest will be entering preschool. So all four kids will now be going to, you know, private, and they go to nice private schools before. Yeah. And because I don't think I can actually afford to send all of these things. If I want to make sure that my college, and in two years, my next daughter will go into college, I may have to take some, you know, reallocation. And that's where the idea of homeschool came in. You know, me asked, you and, galing lang ni Lord, no, you guys were talking about it. Um, I can have to credit um, Ivy Marquez and Bernard Marquez. Yes, yes. You know, I mean, the, 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 iba kasi pag may community, bro, kaya natin yan. Pag ginanun lang yan, ah, oh, sige. Parang ganun na lang yung nangyari, no? And then, kasabay kayo, and all this, sabi ni Chiki, bro, kaya natin to. <laughs> Guys, para oh, bro, lang, kami, alam mo, oh, pinipasok namin at that time, ah. <laughs> pero didn't... alam mo, nung time ngayon, alala ko, sobrang importante din yung role nyo, eh. Mm-hmm. Kayo, kayo na Chiki, ni na Pastor Bernard, kasi, Iba yung lalaki pag talagang nag-lead on that level. Yeah. Kasi ako, I could be able to teach my kids if it's not for the support of Chinky and you supporting me. Ah. It's, ano, it's like now, I have a lot of mostly pe, babae talaga nag i pero kailangan din matuto ng guys. Yeah. I think you guys need to speak about it as well on how, 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 what, how is the role of the fathers gonna be very, very impactful to the lives of their kids. Yeah. 
Very, this journey of homeschooling. Oh, very, very important. On that. Uh, now, we, I think we have a platform to talk about it. No? Yes. So, all these things. So, we're doing... Come on, go, Randall. So we're doing this now. We're, 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 we're getting people to be more aware. At least, it starts with awareness. At the right, aware awareness. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show in the video, I'm going to show the links of, you know, what you guys are doing. The, I'm going to ask for the links for you so that they can do actually check. And and I think, and that's what I tell people, eh, uh, Homeschool is not rocket science. No? People think it was yeah. so complicated or dapat na maganda facility ko, kailangan pa may football oh. field and all these things. When we did our our homeschooling, we were living in a much smaller place. And kayo din pala, okay. Kami, iba sa condominium, sa kitchen ako nag-homeschool. <laughs> so, you know, it's a dining table, ano? Yeah, it's a dining table. You, you know the funny part that when we built our house, we built a nice study room, no? But, I guess my kids are so used to studying in the dining table. Oo oh, nga, bumabalik pa doon. Napansin mo. So, actually, naging office na lang yung isa. Yung, it's Gabby, my daughter, who uses now more because work from home. But that study didn't actually work as a study. They they were so used to... I think, yun nga eh, we have to teach other parents na... Yes. Masyadong nakabox din kasi, di ba? Yung pwede lang gawin. And, and now, we have kids. Iba-iba din yung kids natin. So, sa so homeschool, yeah. doon mo makikita lalo yung benefit niya. Now, no yeah, matter, what were your biggest challenges when you were homeschooling through the years? What were your, what would be the challenges that you were experiencing? It's really my attitude. Mm. I was really transformed in homeschooling, my attitude per se, because I'm very, I'm very compliant person, very traditional, so I'm very structured. So na wala lahat yun. As in, ni wipe out ni God, kasi ibat ibang klase yung attitude ng anak ko eh. Siyempre, meron din akong asawa na kailangan kong i-prioritize. So, it, hindi, ano, it's not an easy job for me to, on that end. So, God taught me on that end to meet where my kids are rather than them adjusting to what I'm trying to tell them. So, it's more of that. It's more of uh, God is teaching me to really value my relationship with them rather than finishing a worksheet or finishing a textbook. That's on my end. Kasi ako nga na-realize ko rin lang din, ito nga eh, isa na lang in homeschool ko ngayon. Si Miren, isa na lang, ano? So, Actually, parang hindi na halos eh, kasi nakahit. Ako nga, independent na kasi. Independent na. But, na, na-train na rin kasi ni Mia na maging independent si ano, no? Si Yun naman ang beauty, the older they get. The, yun naman yun nga eh, eh, di ba? So, no no matter what it's ano eh, it's god has put i really have to you know take honor on that god is the really is the one who put us in the in this calling pero ang question nga ngayon now that we're here and both of us both of our family is, is homeschooling what are we going to do with our own how can we activate how what are we going to do in our own way to be able to you know uh, give light to other parents na hindi dapat matakot na magturo ng mga anak. Kasi, like on my end, kasi yung isang kong kaibigan, no, V, naloloka na ako, monster na ako, hindi ko na kaya, yung parang ganun. E sabi ko, sige, buwelo ka muna, labas ka muna. Ano ka muna, ah, exercise, exercise, tas balik ka mo ulit. Tas laro na lang muna kayo. Bukas ulit, mag-start ulit kayo. Say sorry to each other. Kasi it's, I think it's more of how do you be able to love the process, di ba? Yung hindi ka magiging too hard to yourself and too hard to your kids. Kasi meron kang concept eh, kailangan tanggalin. Yun ang tinanggal sa akin ni God na naging challenge sa akin niya. Meron akong mindset dahil the one who was before me, sobrang gagaling nila eh. Marie Bonifacio, Gigi Escosar. Kita ko yung mga anak nila na parang, ha, 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 paano ba ito? Ganito ba talaga? Tapos nakita ko yung mga anak nila kung paano. So, talagang God really humbled me down in this journey. Kasi it's not... And then I realized, and then I asked them as well, na, wow, dumaan din pala din sila sa dinaanan ko. So, it's not a race to be able to finish with flying colors na pag yung anak mo, alam mo yung reality din na, o yung pag-anak ko, dapat ganito. So, dapat owner ka, or dapat scholar ka, kasi homeschool ka. Alam mo yung connotation na gano'n, na, na parang, homeschool ka, nakakahiya ka, anak ka ni Chinky, <laughs> kaya wag gano'n. So, tiranggal talaga yon ni God sa akin. Kasi nagkaroon ako lang ganun eh. Na parang, ay, naku, nakakasad naman pag ganito yung anak ko yung ganun. So, it's more really of my character na talagang 
hinapakan ko yun by the grace of God. And I thank God na nawala yun sa akin lahat. Kaya nga, di ba, meron ako isang third year. Hindi talaga ako nag-accredit sa kahit kanino. Talagang, I said sorry to my kids. Sabi ko, kids, I'm really sorry. I don't have to do that. Let's reboot why we're doing what we're doing. You need to have a vision. We need to have a goal. And this is how it makes. And then, I collaborate with them. Do you like this? Or you don't? Do you think this curriculum will match you? Or do you like this style? So, nung nag-start na ako nun, gumanda na yung flow ng homeschooling. And that's very important, no? You have to find your niche. And again, siguro yes. not too hard on yourself. You know, the perfect kid and the perfect parent is, is, uh, no, is non-existent, no? Yes, so, there's no such thing. It's a question for a lot of uh, young moms or thinking about it. How do you now talk to them and if they feel, yeah, they feel inadequate. No, hindi ko, hindi ko kaya to, ang hirap nito, and all these things. How do you now, I mean, of course, yan yung common na tumatakbo sa inyo, yung, yung, can you believe sila na yung mommy ngayon? Ito mga young mommy ngayon. <laughs> kaya yan, I mean, ikaw kaya mo yan. And you can actually, hindi, hindi nila kaya dati. But, well, I asked them, sabi ko, sino unang-unang naka, naka, ano, nakakita sa anak mo na nagsalita ng dada? Sino nagturo dyan maglakad? Mm-hmm. Sino yung unang-una nag-read aloud? Sino nag-change ng diaper? Di ba ikaw? Mm-hmm. Wala naman ding iba eh. Di mo pwedeng kumuha ng tutor para gumawa yun. It's like you see, you, see, you have to see the battle na. You did that and you were able to put that in toddler. Na ngayon medyo malaki-laki na yung anak mo. Ikaw rin yan eh. And I'm encouraging them to see their value and their importance na Hey, God has ordained you and anointed you to be the best teacher to your child. Not talking about academics, but it's life itself. Because I believe, di ba nga yung issue-issue ng socialization? Tayo, kasi we are both advocate of that. Na you need to have this good foundation with your parents before you will be able to have good friends that you know na talagang ma-identify. Ay, good friend yan. Kasi alam nila eh, na pag nagkamali sila, pupunta sila sa'yo. Yun yung question. So it's like, I tell young moms and young dads on that end, ikaw yun, wala nagturo sa'yo. Mm-hmm. Walang nagsabi sa'yo at nag-wake up every day, ikaw din yun. So you siguro see it in that way, in a daily basis. O kunyari, um, you need also to ask for help. Do not, do not ever, ever, you know, let yourself be, ano mo yun, kaya ko to, nakakaya naman pag tanawin ko si Mia. Yeah. Baka ano, ganyan-ganyan. Eh, pag ganun, mahirapan talaga tayo. Pag hindi mo kaya, humingi ka ng tulong. And you cannot homeschool without a community, di ba? I mean, yes, and that's number one, di ba, Randall? tayo, ilang years na yung co-op natin, yung Proverbs. Yeah. More than 10 years na. And now, our group was able to create Philippine Homeschool Association. Yeah, yeah. And, and the book that I made is also, yeah. ano yan eh, love, labor of love also of all the co-ops that we have. Later, we'll so, talk to you about your book also. So, okay, so, hindi yan, hindi, hindi, ano yan, isang one man. It's really, ano eh, it's really the sense of unity and helping one another. Wala, yun ang, yun yung gusto, gusto ko talaga sa grupo natin. Yeah, it takes sense. Yeah, we're willing to be corrected. Yeah. yeah, and we're always open to be corrected no matter what. And the beauty of, you know, kung ano may, may talent tayo, di pa wag pumupunta kayo dito sa bahay, we teach what we can. We teach what we have. It doesn't have to be you are a Webster or Mozart. Hindi naman kailangan maging ganun eh. Kung ano lang meron ka, ay mo magturo ng grade 7, grade 5, o doon ka lang sa grade 1 to grade 3, makakatulong ka. Uh, you know, that's of practical because uh, we're a little bit different. We have older kids. Yeah, yeah. The kids went to traditional school. In fact, may traditional ako, may progressive kami, meron kami homeschool, so kompleto kami, no? Aha! <laughs> And I remember, sabi, sabi nga ni Mia nung for a while, sabi niya, kaya to, bakit? Kasi with my two daughters, no, particularly si Billy and si Gabby, when they were growing up, pag uwi nila sa bahay, sinutsutoran din ni Mia yan sa gabi. Um, so she would still, you know, after going through all of these things, sutsutoran din niya, sasaktuturuan din niya. Sabi nga ni Mia, parang inuulit ko yung buong araw mo sa school. Oh. Reviewing you, making sure that you understand. So sabi nga niya, natuturo naman ako pala eh. Oh. Now, just a different context. Now, now How about Gabby and Billy? Do you think they were homeschooled then if ever in the near future? I think so. I think, uh, in fact, they're nagbibiroon nga sila na <laughs> because Gabby's getting married and di na, you know, oh, oh. Be, be very far. Sabi niya, Mommy, homeschool niyo yung 
anak namin, sabi ni tapos na ako. <laughs> I will just teach you what to, how to homeschool. But I think that's a, siguro it's more, kasi pag na-experience, experiential siya eh. Pag na-experience mo siya, then you see now. I mean, of course, we're not looking for, uy, bakit ganyan, bakit behavior, bakit gano'n. And guys, para sa mga nakikinig, hindi po lahat ng, hindi po lahat ng homeschool kid well behaved na. It's true. Ay, I agree. Ayun sa regular school at hindi school, dadaan din sa yes. kalukohan. <laughs> yes, yes. Disciplinary issues namin with our kids and all the, they're gonna go through all of these things at the same time. Pero mayroong konting differences lang. So I guess, uh, kasi Riggs transition to a purely traditional, no? Nasa lasal na siya ngayon. So, it Ooh. was... Ooh! So eh. how is it? How is it? It was... Siyempre, the, the biggest adjustment is waking up earlier and, you know, getting ready and all these things. Not eating. Eating at a certain time, not when you're hungry. Di ba yung, yung mga kids natin, pag nagotom, they will just eat, no? Ito yung... Hindi, kailangan mo itayin yung oras. And then, uh, I guess, dealing with multiple personalities with uh, in a bigger scale was a challenge. It wasn't... His challenge wasn't academic in nature. It was challenge was, you know, in a new environment. But um, homeschool allowed him to be a little bit more resilient. Kasi, siyempre, di ba sa homeschool, yung community, iba-ibang edad, iba-ibang, you know, pinagagalingan, iba-ibang background. So, medyo mas, mas, uh, he, he became a little bit more flexible. And I guess, as a parent, in-expose din natin sila, di ba? You know, yeah. sent him to Dodong Kakanando's farm, yung mga ganun yeah. Oh, ang galing noon. That's a good thing. Those things are very important. So, yung role yeah. of children. Yan. So, Novi, how do somebody na, okay, sige, um, ano na, okay, okay, I'll consider this uh, homeschool na yan. Ano ang gagawin ko? Ngayon, ready na yung, yung mommy o yung daddy na pag-uusapan na nila. What's the first step for them? Well, yun nga. Siguro, I'm gonna make this as an acronym para mas madali. Okay. Siguro, give me like... <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna do seven minutes. Siguro C. C is um, choose your battles. When you say choose your battles, nasabi ko na kanina yan eh. You have to look at it. it uh, ano yung priorities mo? First things first. What are you gonna do? What is more important to you guys? What are your... Um, like for example, at the end of the day, uh, don't go to the routine first. When choosing your battles, you don't have to teach... 10 subjects in a day. Hindi, hindi ganun. Why? Take choosing your battles like, why? I'm gonna teach like one subject a day first. Kasi you're studying your child eh. Hanggang sa makuha na nila yung rhythm. That's what I'm trying to say about choosing your battles. If, kung maganda, mag-partner kayong mag-asawa. Kung kaya ng asawa magturo ng isang subjects, tapos yung isa yung isang subject. So, and then, talk to your kids as well. That is also choosing your battles, parting part of the, the battle eh, na kailangan, gusto rin ng anak mo yung style na ginagawa mo sa kanya. Kasi hindi lahat ng bata mag-get the way we teach eh. Kasi, di ba tayo very traditional? So, some of the kids doesn't like textbooks. Some of the kids will start playing. So, when you do one subject per day, mas mag-gage mo, mas makikilala mo sila. Ay, may interest pala itong isang anak ko sa science. Ay, yung isa, ay, hindi siya, hindi, hindi niya gusto yung science, mas gusto niya yung English, so siguro mag-start ako in the morning. So, something like that. So, you gauge yourself. You gauge your slip. That's letter C. That's choosing your battles. A is learn to accept. When I say accept, learn to accept, syempre, kahit na nasa loob kayo ng bahay, ikaw bilang magulang, you have you have to show to your kids that you're accepting the situation and you also love the situation at at the same time learn to love the situation na I'm enjoying to be with you as a as my son or as my daughter and accept the situation of what's happening around which is the coronavirus and then talk about it acceptance yun eh kasi when the kids see that kind of attitude from you um the kids will be able to learn na hi this is ano at magiging kampante ako kasi yung parents ko kampante sila eh. Alam nila na accept nila yung situation, hindi sila in panic. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I'm gonna learn with them, I'm gonna try to to so keep the atmosphere in such a way na no matter what they do, no matter what mistakes they do kasi ang dami na ng pagkakamali ng mundo sa labas eh. In the house, the acceptance, the love should be there in learning together. So that's A. And then R, Sabi ko rin kanina yan, relationship is more important than academics. Always gear to that in everything that you do. 
it doesn't have that you finish the science within the day. But the thing is, does your child trust you? Is makikita ba niya na ang relationship priority sa'yo? For example, nagkamali siya, eh, ikaw, ikaw yung tipong, ano, uh, kunyari, one plus lang, two plus two, hindi niya mag -get. So, pag-aawayan niyo ba yun ng two hours? One plus one, two plus two? Kesa, di ba? Kesa na, ay, anak, hindi mo ba kaya? Sige, buwelo tayo. Gusto malaro mo na tayo. O, play mo na tayo ng ganun. So, yun yung sinasabi ko. Those, those are little bits, but the goal is relationship is more valuable than academics. We're gonna show that to them. That's R. So, C-A-R, then E, is expand. L, no, explore and expand. When I say explore and expand, it's like learn to talk to other families like you or me, ask for help, um, go to the internet, some of the things that you think that your child interest led, na alam mo na, um, yung sinabi ko kanina, di ba, coronavirus can be in history, science, writing, or public speaking. You can start on that relevance, so expanding, you're exploring, and then you can make a report about the pandemics. Ano yung tingin mo, yung anak mo, madaldal, mahilig, mahilig magsalita, o sige, Mag-report ka sa akin about pandemic. Alam mo yung ganun? Pwede niyang gawin yun. Or doodle about what's happening of the different virus. What's yung ganun. So, yun yung sinasabi kong expand and explore. And then, explore certain ideas also with other parents. Kasi, you need a support group for you for to be able to move on. And you as a parent also, you also need to learn how to be corrected by other parents. Okay? So, that's it. Expand and explore. And then E, ay, E na pala yun, no? C-A-R-E, okay? And then S, cares kasi, C-R, cares. Yeah. F is surrender. This is my last and this the most important. You have to surrender everything to God. Kasi no matter, no matter what you teach your child, kung we don't know how to surrender everything to God. Hindi mo magagawa. Hindi ka rin makakaturo. When I say surrender, when you wake up in the morning, mas maaga ka sa mga anak mo, try to surrender everything to God and read the Word so that you will be strengthened in that day to be able to teach your child. Kasi for me, yun yung strength mo, di ba, Rande? Lagi tayo naman nagkakamali eh, kahit na anong plano natin within the day until this very day. Eh, tayo nga, literal. Di ba tayo pag January, di ba? Yung... Oh, ito, planning. Ito yung gagawin ko. Pero talagang na-wipe out nitong virus na to. Many are the plans in a man's heart. But still, God's plan prevails. So, surrendering to God and entrusting to God is like, Lord, I entrust to you my day-to-day. -day, Lord, help me to love my husband and be able to build trust with my kids. I don't know what to do. Yung ganon. So, when you're entrusting and surrendering to God, that's the battle in which way na parang you will be strengthened and will you will be equipped to be able to do what you're called to do in a day. Yeah, wow. So that's scarce. Parang yung, that's scarce. It's like, for me, it's like, rather than trying to be panicky, you show, you show care to what's happening, not only inside the house, but also outside the house. Let your family be involved, like, Madami akong friends na nagumagawa sila ng mga mas, nagdo-donate sila, nagpapakain sila. Let your children be involved on that. So that's it. Very good. Wow. So this is really a very, and, and we're gonna show links, no? So for parents there, I wanna consider. I, I mean, just just from a from a homeschool parent, you know, you have to accept it's not for everybody. But if you're you feel that you are one of those that are, you can consider uh, just to be practical. If it doesn't work, you can always go back to your own. Yes. Way. Saka maybe you could ask yourself and your your husband, is this short term or long term? Yeah. Short term, so kung corona, coronavirus, ano lang din yan, hindi rin natin alam eh, no? siguro mga two years pa yan bago magkaroon ng vaccine. So kung may ganun, yun yun, doon ka na. And then you also, in the practical side, you have to check the legalities. Mm -hmm. Do you like to be an independent homeschooling? Yeah. Or do you like to be under a provider? You also have to identify that. What if this movie is things that you are educating people? I mean, yes, that's uh, what I do now. Because you know, educate lang, awareness yeah. lang. Because they need to have a choice. Eh. Hindi po pwedeng, uh, kasi kung indi ang independent, magigir yan sa mga pwedeng mga parents na bumabuelo na walang trabaho paglabas. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi ka naman gagasos initially for the accreditation fee. Mas maganda yon Pero kung meron ka naman na ipon, meron kang 
gusto mo ma- ma-accredit yung anak mo, pumunta ka sa pinakamura kasi ikaw rin naman magtuturo sa yeah. anak mo. <laughs> Hindi naman kailangan sa mahal. And then, if you could be able to borrow and get um, very good online, free online activities in in the internet, sobrang dami ngayon nagbibigay, then take hold of that as well. Ayun. And maybe, siguro, one of the things is your uh, as you go through all of these things, you will encounter or siguro discover a community that fits you. Yes, yes. So please, join Philippine Homeschool Association. Siguro that is together with the wife of yeah. Randall as well. And we try to, actually, we're gonna, Randall, hindi pa namin nagagawa, pero pinaplansya na namin with Mia. We have a meeting this Friday. We're gonna have a consultation, ano, consultation booth. So, may mga schedule kami every week na meron kaming grupo, group of parents na, na nag-homeschool na and then we're gonna coach parents on how they go about. So, parang may Zoom, ano kami, Zoom group na magkakonsult lang kami. Very good. Very good. So, we're gonna put all of those links there. Uh, yes. Take a look at it. Again, explore uh, this coronavirus. We don't know what's gonna happen. Who knows? This might be, uh, I mean, when we joined, I don't think uh, we were very long term. When we, you know, it was. Yeah, just, hindi ganun. Ma, di ba? Ano this is until the end na my actually mabot sa amin kids na nagsabi namin at tapos na kami mag homeschool. Talaga? Kami rin ni We take it one year at a time. We yeah. decide every year. So, Kayo kano din eh? So ganon din. I mean, you know, time will pass. Uh, you and Chiki are doing a great thing. Uh, your your team lahat kayo friends namin and all these things and this advocacy um, we're gonna put the links there homeschooling again just be clear we're not telling you that homeschool kids are better than non-homeschool kids There's no yes support. I agree so parent, you know some people they feel minsan kasi may mga lumapit kay Mia feeling nila inadequate sila dahil kasi yung makasama daw nila nag-homeschool sila hindi they are bad. they're not a good parent sabi ko don't believe all those lies ano yan eh calling yan situational yan depending where you are uh, yeah. practicality or these things maybe you both need to work together otherwise you couldn't survive all, all these things are, are factors that we need to consider and all these things but uh, you know just have an open mind know about these things and you have people to talk to know me and her group no I uh, have been doing it just to tell you these people are walang hidden agenda yan they're yes. really purely education purely advocacy and it's a ministry actually let's just call it it's a ministry for for these ladies who have been doing and wala lang, I'm just, you know, I feel I kind of old because I saw these kids get older. You know where they are right now and all of them are tall. Oh. You know, they see they're older. Oh, you did a great job. Chinke and yeah. I admire you and Mia for raising kids. These yeah. four kids of yours, <laughs> we saw them. We saw them from, wow. Especially how Gabby, every time I na nakikita ko si Gabby nag-preach, naiyak ko. Iba na, iba na. You know, well, ibang level eh. Kasi, well, I really admire you and Mia because I know that you also have a lot of sacrifices that you yeah. did in your life. But God is good. God is good. And so, more than thank you very, Novi. I mean, this is a very enlightening uh, discussion. We want to, of course, we cannot, in one session, cannot talk about homeschool, the whole thing. Yeah. But, uh, you have to check your heart. Uh, you're ready. You pray about it. Uh, yeah. And, you know, you will you will know naman if it's time for you. But again, explore it. Uh, take a look at it. There are different options. One thing I like about what Novi, you guys are doing now, you're and dami pa lang. Kasi when we started, it, akala natin yung lang klase, di ba? Pala, dami, dami pa lang. Class, dami, dami pa lang ways. And, and yeah. you know, again, find that community that can really help you. Very, very important. Uh, iba yun eh. Iba yung Mia and Novi was, was became successful because somebody spent time with them. And somebody will spend time with you guys. Also, andyan lang yan. Just have to find them. Humble enough to seek help and so forth and so on. Novi, like anything else, any parting words, especially for those who are contemplating or thinking about it or feeling inadequate about these things? Yeah. Well, parents, I just want to encourage you. Yon, kanina sinabi ko, you are the best parents that and best teachers that you could be able to teach your kids. And I really suggest, don't move in fear. Um, I suggest that you really increase your faith. And by increasing your faith, you get to know God in all of these things that's been happening. And I just pray that uh, you could be able to find also a community, like a church community, that could be able to empower you as well. Because yun talaga sobrang ano yun, uh, makakatulong sa inyo and strengthen you in whatever battle that you're going through right now. So rather than in fear, 
let's move in faith. So, always remember lang na, yun nga, we are here for you, Randall and me, my family, just message us on how can we be able to help you. Randall, thank you so much for inviting me here. Very good, very good. And I are so, so, so proud of you. And I just want you to know the fish that you gave me here. <laughs> I so love and I'm feeding it. I'm so, 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 so relaxed. Kasi nandito ako sa terrace katabi nung koi na binigay mo. I'm just telling you, I love it. So, thank you. Between Kinky and I, though, what we message, we show videos of our fishes. No? So, we're, <laughs> we're, we're crazy. And again, you thank know, you so much. It's we, a want blessing. To, we want to uh, emphasize that that community really helps. You will see that in yes. a community, community of imperfect parents with imperfect children, yes. and yet, you know, loved by a perfect God. And last favor, Novi, and I've asked uh, everyone, I think almost everyone who guested here, can you pray for our viewers now? Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Okay, let's pray. Dearest Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time that you have given us. We thank you, Lord, for this platform that you have given Randall, oh God, for all the listeners and all the people who are watching this, all his followers. We thank you, Lord, but truly, oh God, this is really a platform to be able to really uh, do what he has called to do. And we are so thankful for the life of Randall and Mia. Lord, I just pray right now um, for all the parents who are listening, even for the singles, Lord, I pray, oh Father, that we thank you, Lord, because even in this great um, disaster that's happening, it is our greatest opportunity for, for us to be able to really know you and seek you in our lives. I know it's not an easy uh, battle to take on, but we thank you, Lord, because you are a God who is always there for us. You are a God who will never leave us nor forsake us. You are a God who, who, who has the greatest plan for us, Lord. Even now, oh God, we thank you, Lord, because even now with our kids, you have greater plans. And um, we realize that you love more our kids rather than us. And we thank you for that. Lord, I pray that um, no matter what the circumstances may be that is happening right now with COVID, we thank you, Father, that we could be able to run to you with freedom, Father, that we could be able to cling to you no matter what and not be afraid. Because you will go through with us in this matter. Lord, even the parents right now who are thinking of homeschooling, I pray, O oh Father, that they will be patient with themselves. I pray that you'll just, uh, the power of the Holy Spirit will encourage them to be filled with your presence as they go about with this, that they will not uh, be scared or anything, O oh God, any kind of fear that they're trying to distract them to do what they've called them to do. I thank you, Lord, for this parents, O oh Father, that you'll just bless them, Father, from the top of Raphael to the sole of their feet, that every time they wake up, in the morning, they will be encouraged and they will just be excited to encounter you in the morning so that they can be able to do what you have called them to do as a parent, as a wife, and as a husband, Father. Lord, we thank you each day that you have given us. Lord, I pray for Randall, Father, that as you uh, prepare his way this coming year, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for his life. For I know he, he'll be one of the beacons and really the instrument to be able to encourage these men and women to be able to really seek you in their lives. And we thank you, Lord, for his life, Lord. Lord, give him more wisdom beyond these years. Give him more ideas, Lord. Give him more people to be able to trust to and be able to really um, make his foundation more solid so that he could be able to really give the message that you want him to give, Lord, to these people, Father. Lord, we thank you for this day. And we thank you, Lord, for your for your sovereignty in our life in Jesus name. Amen, amen. amen. Thank you. Sorry, humaba. <laughs> very helpful. I think this is you know a lot of people give me feedback on how the videos have been very helpful. So again, thank you Novi. It's such a pleasure talking to you. I you know thank you. I, thank you. The thing I when I get to talk to you know I realize I don't get to talk to my close friends as often but I think this covid made us realize. Usap na kami chat. We had a nice conversation in a long time. So it's, it's a good way to... I remember, sabi ni Pichinki, diba? you started the internet. I mean, you mm -hmm. talked to the, in the internet. Yeah. We chat there. Yeah, that's when, to grow. that's when we, we started to grow. So we're going back to our roots. So <laughs> going my regards to Chinky and the kids. Yes, and yes. Your dogs and, your, and your kois and all these things. Yes, hug to Mia, to Billy, to Gabby. Congratulations. And to <laughs> <laughs>
थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ठीक है